The great challenge facing humanity today is our treatment of animals. The last great social justice movement was the freeing of slaves, the abolition of slavery. Slaves and animals were and are treated as objects in law. Today, animals have no rights whatsoever. They're pure objects in law, things, chattel, like a table or a chair. We decided to start Voiceless, uh, my daughter Ondine and I, to alleviate the suffering of animals, to lift the veil of secrecy, to allow people to understand what is happening in factory farming today in Australia. Voiceless is a catalyst for change. We're keeping a very mainstream focus and really speaking to all Australians and we're supporting the animal groups that have been working hard over the last 20 and 30 years and building their capacity to really make a bigger difference. We've set up three different arms of the organisation, uh, a grants program, um, our legal arm which is really looking to strengthen law and policy to further protect animals and our education arm, which is raising awareness about some of the major issues of cruelty in Australia. So I've just got the designs back. Animal Club is the first initiative of Voiceless's education arm. Animal Club is a network of clubs that are in schools across Australia, and we're inspiring, encouraging, and rewarding schools that are really getting active to help animals in their community. So we've got some other the purpose of Voiceless's legal arm is to help to lobby to create law reforms to improve animal protection and to reduce their suffering. What we're trying to do is to bring lawyers together to raise awareness of animal law uh, and to create more legal advocates for animals. We're really looking at growing the animal protection movement and we're doing that via our grants program, which is the largest of its kind in Australia. Yeah, yeah, it's a vote of secrecy, that's what it is. It's a gruelling process because there's so many great ideas and great projects out there. We have a judging panel that's made up of voiceless people as well as independent scientists and our ambassador Hugo Weaving. But next year we are starting this thing and we really love you to, to submit something else next year as part of that. I've been involved with uh, the judging process both this year and last year. That's been fascinating seeing them coming in from all over the country, from schools, from universities, from communities up in uh, Arnhem Land or from all sorts of different organisations. Yeah, it seems like there's a big world out there and there's a lot of people who want to do a lot of things. And the great strength that we have as Voiceless is that we can kind of bring all these people together and create an energy in one place. My name is Ansel Ann and I'm the coordinator of the Ramanginning Dog Management Program. Ramanginning is an indigenous community in Far East Arnhem Land in the Northern Territory. We had up to 17, 20 dogs at some houses and the Yolngu people did not know how to address their problems. So with much discussion and consultation, we worked together and, and made a plan in 2004 to carry out a program that could address the health of the children in the community the social impact of too many dogs and of course the welfare of the dogs themselves. Basically the Human Animal Eye came about because um, Tess and I got together and um, we were both nutritionists and decided that we wanted to be able to pool our resources and our knowledge um, because there's just not a lot of um, information, uh, a lot of resources out there to um, facilitate people in their move to vegetarian and vegan lifestyle. Voiceless is having a huge impact in Sydney and it's just the amount of projects that they get has just shown how many people are, want to do something about you know, the animal situation but just don't have the funds to do it. 
I'm Suzanne Daniel and I'm a non-executive director with Hunter Hall, which is Australia's largest ethical funds management business. Many of our shareholders feel really strongly about animal rights, our particularly factory farming, so it's really satisfying to be able to support Voiceless and the important work that they do. We want to get to the youth, we want to get to the lawyers, we want to get to the politicians, we want people to understand what is happening to animals today in Australia. 